Greetings everyone, the good tonight here, and today we're going to be having a little discussion between the, I guess we'll call it pros and cons, of having a single stack triple mag shingle, or having a six mag sort of double stack uh, pouch setup. So, this is one of the fun things, because honestly, I like both. I have reasons for going with the six mag setup I have here, and we're going to get into that now. So basically, shingles were one of the first things I were using because they were well, cool and easy to use. And uh, my buddy gave me a set of the little tactical tailor, little triple mag shingle. It was pretty cool. I think the Warrior Salt System actually makes one I like a little bit more simply because it fits more flush. The LBT 1694 has six rows of molly on the little front end here, so triple mag pouches is pretty easy. The Warrior Salt System also fits perfectly for the three mags. And basically what we're gonna come down to is how many mags you need is going to depend more on the mission and what your overall goals are as opposed to which one is objectively better than a different one. So I personally like this, the uh, triple setup here, or yeah, the six mag setup here, because well, one, I'm running a Polar Star, and if I'm ever going to use full auto, I don't want to run out of ammo. I also do not generally carry a handgun. I can with these little fancy cry pants. They have the elastic band I can keep a Little concealed handgun here as kind of a worst case scenario jam fallback plan. Not a bad idea, but Glock 42, right? Because the 43 is the 9mm, yeah, 42 is a really easily concealed handgun, so very minimalistic. But yeah, so six mags. I've taken the frag pouches off actually because eh, I'd rather be pulling the trigger more than trying to toss a frag grenade. I can basically delegate to one of my teammates for frag duty, so that's more or less what I'm going to do. Man, yeah, so six mags. Key primary focus is to run the rifle and almost entirely just run the rifle. Now, magazine pouches are really easy to put on your plate carrier, as you can put them pretty much anywhere, so whether you want six mags up front, easy to get access to, if you rather have three mags with the option of putting more on a belt, I am not a belt lord. I prefer the minimal amount on my belt, which in this case is a dump pouch. And well, retention lanyard, but that's for the hell of it. That could come off pretty easily if it's unneeded. So, six mags lets you carry a decent fighting load. These tactical tailor pouches are particularly nice because I could even take the standard little alum aluminum mags, aluminum, aluminum, and I could just be like, hey, I want to carry three mags in a pouch. Do what I say. Now we have a very bulky way to carry nine magazines. Now more realistically outside of airsoft a loaded magazine of about 27 rounds is going to get pretty heavy pretty fast because ounces equal pounds this is a pound pounds will equal pain over the long term so you don't want to carry too many six that's six extra pounds you're carrying on you so that's gonna be quite a bit more and if you have any crazy assault pack nonsense going on right whatever you're generally just gonna need three Three is going to be a solid setup, shingle-wise especially, we're going to call it basically the three shingle, the skirmisher setup. So you set up your little skirmisher setup, three magazines here, maybe you want to carry a handgun and a few extra mag pouches on your left side. Cool. Good little setup. You can run, you can go pew 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 if you start running out of ammo. You can either reach back towards the front lines or you have someone carrying a lot more ammo who can help you resupply. Or you could just have someone who's carrying like an entire backpack just full of magazines and speed loaders. And you could go, and go pop up, okay, down to the last magazine here, and that's going to be back to pistol. You're going to start pulling back a bit, swap out with one of your buddies, get to the back line, be like, yo, I need more mags, swap out with me, let me load these. And you could keep fighting for them that way. Perfectly option, it's perfectly sane, logical solution, you can do that, there's no problems with it. If you want to be in more of a sustained fight, you're going to want to be carrying more closer, to like six mags. And with these cargo pockets, you can also throw in another few more mags there. And that's more of the, I'm going to be shooting, I'm going to be moving up, I'm going to be shooting some more. If I start getting tired, I'll have the ammunition for sustained fighting, and you know, just keep pushing forward. By the time you do run out of ammo, you should have burned through a lot of ammo, but you're not going to be as reluctant to pull the trigger, basically, because you're never going to have more ammo, you're not going to be counting as many rounds as often, so. Options. Options, options. Now, and more of the 
I guess we'll tie this into military experience, because why not? Military experience lies. For mom learning, there's a lot of the other guys who do military really like the pouch setup, as opposed to the shingles. You'll be like, well, why? Well, the military doesn't involve as much running and shooting, unless you're doing, like, some crazy special forces stuff, or, like, building injury rescue stuff, where you see the lighter shingles. If you're doing more of the, even just the pogue side of things, then you're, you're gonna be like, okay, well, these two mags, I'm not gonna need these. These four are perfectly good. Instead, I want to take uh, a can of candy. Preferably one that doesn't shake as much, but, oh, I'm gonna carry some pogey bait with me. They've been going around, and be like, yeah, nothing's going on. Just gonna go get fat. So, yeah, pouches, you can throw anything else in, and it's pretty cool. And in addition, the other big thing I'll say here, if I take this magazine out, I put this over here, if I wanted to go lighter, it's easier to scale down from six mags to three than to try to scale up and add stuff to your belt. So I've got one mag in each pouch. I've now reduced my girth, dieted, I've dieted my plate carrier down to a smaller build, so this makes it easier to vault over and climb things if you're going to be doing a lot of that. And now it's three pounds added instead of six. A lot less lighter weight. It's still not going to be jingling and raggling around as much, but actually like handguns make you more noise than anything. Go sit over there. You're on time out. So yeah, there's still a bit of noise, but we have a lot lighter load, and I can still... It's not as fast as shingles. I know if I can still get a mag out and in the gun with relative ease, and then all the mags stay up here, and a lighter run, so but even if I don't feel particularly baller, I can suck that tag back there, give us a bit more freedom to get access to immediately, keep the little tab up, use it pop, 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 okay. So there's ways to work around it, which is what I like about the pouches. The pouches, depending also on what's inside them, you get better mag protection, better mag retention, and yeah, also the complete brown cover means if I spray painted my mags bright pink, if, keyword here, I can still keep them concealed in a pouch. So, kinders between pouches and shingles. My buddy uh, Juicebox is actually running my old Warrior Soul System shingle on his uh, plate carry, or not his plate carry, his chest rig. Which is another thing we'll discuss in a later video between chest rigs and plate carriers. But, it's more of a, if you rather have armor or go more towards the speed soft side. So yeah. Cool options. The ability to scale up and scale down from three mags to nine mags, or hell, I could take these two out and carry one mag. And then, I don't know, Red Bull and uh, maybe even an extra water bottle. Do I have a water bottle? No, I think I have a water bottle lying around. But yeah, you can also carry a water bottle in here. Maybe you could take that water bottle and you can put some uh, oral rehydration solution in it or mix it with one of the MRE. What do they even call them? Not Want to be Tang? I don't know. I can't remember the name of the solution mixture sports drinky nonsense. You can put that in a water bottle. Carry that in here as well. Cool. So the pouches give you a lot more versatility, especially if you're gonna be out in the field for hours on end. The triple shingle gives you a very small, lightweight setup that's great for running around a lot, climbing over things, skirmishing, shooting real quick, and being able to do a resupply. Because resupplies are important. You'll generally have a truck or something with ammo. Hopefully, if not, you can. Not even that little six mag bandolier I was talking about, you can carry that around with you, throw that on, throw that down somewhere, fall back to that to get more ammo. There's options, cool things, and also the big thing, particularly why I like having a team, is that you can designate things out to someone. If you're gonna have someone carrying a bunch of fragmentation grenades, or I guess in this case cyclone grenades, and their whole job is to frag literally everything before you go in and breach it, then having them carry three mags is a good idea, because they're gonna be doing more mag throwing between shooting, whereas what I'm going to be doing with the Polar Star is almost non-stop shooting because it's fun and I'm actually a decent shot in my own mind. Don't tell anyone. So yeah. And also don't break my illusion. I like to think that I'm the... I can't say the best shot. I'm a good, decent, okay. I can hit targets and Polar Star is more options so It's a smooth bore musket. What do you want? I'm out here in Japan. Get real guns. I cry every night about it, so yeah, now, yeah, now you know that. So yeah, options. But yeah, most importantly, 
Only carry what you need. Pouches give cool alternative options. You could carry pokey things in them. But if you want to carry shingles, also cool. So, both one. Both ones depend on what type of mission you're going for, how many magazines you're going to want to carry, if it's going to be more weight or too much weight or too little weight. And one of the more important things, let me go ahead and stress this, if you like carrying heavy plates and helmets and all that fun stuff, the important thing is try to stay under 40 pounds. Not body weight, obviously, but gear-wise, you want to be under 40 pounds, especially for long periods of time because otherwise... Your joints and your knees are going to go bad very, very, very fast. Very. Most common type of injury, actually, I think, post-enlistment for people is knee injuries and hip injuries, and even to an extent spine injuries if you put all your stuff on your plate carrier. You can run three shingle and put stuff on the belt, like I mentioned earlier. That will help alleviate that, because heavy weight on your hips keeps them off of your shoulders. It helps out a bit, but again, options for people. And yeah, I'm more, more than welcome to hear what you guys want to say in the comments down below. If you get like six mags or three mags, most of the stuff you're going to run into, you might only burn through three mags, and that's cool. If you want to have sustained fighting because you don't know how many people are going to be coming, or you're doing like a three-hour respawn game, where you're going to be doing a lot, a lot, a lot of shooting, then yeah, definitely a better idea to probably carry six mags. If you want to go really hard and carry mags for the rest of the team, you can even carry nine mags with these pouches. You can throw two more on the back if one of your buddies is running low on ammo and you just want to be able to have him pull mags off your back while you're shooting things. Cool. All viable, viable strategies that you guys can employ. And yes, it really comes down to personal preference. preference so three mags, six mags, just an entire rucksack full of magazines. All up to you. All your decision. Just uh, don't forget water, stay hydrated. I say that every time because dehydration kind of sucks. But yeah, so my thoughts on the thing, if you guys are interested or if you're just curious on how many mags you should carry. Generally, you'll find out pretty quickly if you do a lot of 10-minute uh, skirmishes, like I was doing in my last uh, game. It was just me versus my buddy Tom. Then it was two on two with respawns. I literally... I've never went through more than an extra backup mag. I could have just carried this in my pocket. But I was also dressed incredibly light because it is hot and humid in Okinawa in the summer. So, that's all I got for you guys. Hope this video has been somewhat insightful and giving you some ideas, getting the creative juices flowing, and the information percolating on through. So, cheers everyone! I will be here, and I will try to make more videos in between running here, running there, doing this, doing that and uh, staring longingly in my airsoft uniform, wishing to go out and go pew-pew some more. So, cheers, stay chivalrous, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.